Hey everyone, it's Denver Dillon. I'm back for another episode of Walk Around the Block. This time we're in Sloan's Lake. Follow me. Sloan's Lake is one of the most interesting neighborhoods in Denver. Uh, the actual neighborhood surrounds uh, Denver's second largest park and it has Denver's largest body of water, Sloan Lake. What's interesting about the lake is that it's actually man-made. Uh, the gentleman, Mr. Sloan, owned a farm and was trying to dig a well uh, to irrigate his crops and uh, accidentally tapped into an aquifer. Overnight, the lake just bled out all this water and created uh, over 200 acres worth of lake uh, right in the middle of the city. And thus, the rest is born on how Sloan's Lake was created. The neighborhood itself has gone through several iterations. Uh, the neighborhood starts as far back as like the 1880s and really a large portion of the growth, which was basically annexed into the highlands, uh, really started in the 1880s uh, throughout the early turn of the century of the 1900s. Uh, after the lake was created, Manhattan Beach was an amusement park that was located on the northern shores uh, of the neighborhood. The boundaries of it are between Colfax some people would argue that it's 17, some people say Colfax, but the new Sloan's Lake basically encompasses everything from Colfax north all the way to 29th with Federal Boulevard on the east and Sheridan to the west. Now, you're probably wondering why do you want to live in the Sloan's Lake neighborhood? A couple of reasons. One, the biggest one being that you're centrally located to uh, the city core. The other one being that the neighborhood's actually really old and what that means is that it was designed with pedestrian principles Everything's all within a 10 minute walk and at one point the old streetcars of Denver used to go through the neighborhood. So you'll notice at different random uh, intersections throughout the neighborhood you'll see little shopettes, a little liquor store, the little bakery that's here, all making for a wonderful pedestrian experience. The homes in the neighborhood are a total mix. Given that the Sloan's Lake neighborhood is one of Denver's oldest neighborhoods, you see everything from turn of the century Victorians, duplexes, townhomes, post-war craftsman bungalows, and most recently the newest iteration is very modern, very sleek construction throughout the neighborhood. What we've seen price year-over-year -year data is in 2021 Q1, the median sales price for a single family home was about 988,000. And fast forward to Q1 of 2022, we saw a 10% jump to a million eighty-eight. What's interesting is that our new ceiling for the highest price point in Sloan's Lake is now 2.1 million, which is higher than any of the surrounding neighborhoods. So what does your perfect day look like in Sloan's Lake? Be sure to grab a breakfast burrito at Santiago's, one of Denver's oldest institutions. Oh, and for sure you're gonna to wanna to grab a cup of coffee at Slow High Coffee. And then maybe end your day with the movie at the Alamo Movie Theater. I think that'll make for a great day here in Sloan's Lake. You know, and if you're wondering what the vibe is like of the neighborhood, you know, there's really a big difference between the east side neighborhoods and the west side neighborhoods. There's really a casual, relaxed feel here, all while maintain maintaining its classical historical charm. Uh, you'll see everything from uh, younger entrepreneurs, younger families, uh, retirees, and everything in between. That's the great thing about these older neighborhoods is because they were designed in such an intelligent way with a 10 minute walking uh, rule, uh, it really makes for a really mix of a neighborhood. If you're looking for a cool place to grab a drink, look no further than the Odell's Brewing House patio. They've got an incredible view of the lake with doors that open, allowing all that fresh Rocky Mountain air to come into the restaurant space. If you're looking for a great place for date night or really any night of the week, head over to the patio on Sloan's Lake. It's right on the park, offers great views, allows that open patio with uh, potential for some live bands. It's definitely a place to see and be seen. One of my favorite things about the actual park itself, Sloan's Lake, is that it plays host to the annual Colorado Dragon Boat Festival, drawing nearly 50,000 people in on a weekend. 
It's one of the largest Asian American events in the state, as well as west of the Mississippi. It's definitely a feast for the eyes. Thanks for joining me on this walk around the block. Hope you learned a lot about Sloan's Lake. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.